Notice these fraternal twins. 3x minus 1 looks awfully similar to 1 minus 3x. Let's make them identical twins by changing the positive 9 to a negative 9. So we have a squared, 3x minus 1, minus 9, and we switch the signs. Negative 3x becomes positive 3x, and positive 1 becomes minus 1. We now have twins. Let's pull out this GCF, 3x minus 1. We copy in a squared minus 9. Notice how the factor 3x minus 1 times a squared is 3x minus 1 times a squared. Similarly, 3x minus 1 times negative 9 is 3x minus 1 times negative 9. Keep on factoring. Notice difference of squares. a squared minus 9 is a plus 3, a minus 3. We now have the fully factored form. Here we have four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's factor by grouping. We'll make a pair and try pulling out a GCF. What fits into these two terms? Let's try 5x squared. Bracket, we have x minus 2. If you expand this out, it becomes the first two terms. Now let's focus on the second two terms. What fits into both 3 and 6? Let's use positive 3. 3 times x is the first term, and minus 2, when we expand this out, is the second term. We now pull out the GCF, x minus 2, and we set up a huge bracket. x minus 2 times 5x squared, that's this part here, plus 3, when we expand it, is the second term over here. We check to see if we can factor further, but we can't, so we're done. Let's factor by grouping. Now there is more than one way to be successful. We can group these or we can even gather the b's together. So I'm going to move this term all the way to the second place. So we have 112 a b and I moved this because I want my b's to be together but you don't have to. And so what we have now is negative 16 a plus 128 a squared. Now let's focus on this group. What is the GCF of 1, 12, and 14? This is going to take a bit of effort, and it's nice to have a calculator. But this L technique will help you find the GCF as well. Let's pull out a 2. What's half of 1, 12? It's 50 plus 6, which is 56. What's half of 14? Let's try 7. Now the question is, does anything fit into 7 and 56? Let's try pulling out a 7. 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 times 1 is 7. And these numbers can no longer be broken down. So the GCF is 2 times 7, which is 14. So here we go. We have 14, and we have a B as well, fits into both these terms. 14B times 8A is the first term, and 14B times negative 1 is the second term. So now let's focus on the next group. What fits into first term, second term? We need to find the GCF of 16 and 128. Again, we can pull out a 2, and half of 128 is 64. And we can pull out an 8, because 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. We multiply 2 times 8, which is 16. Let's pull out the GCF 16a because a fits into both. Now, what we're going to do is 16a times 8a becomes the second term here. And 16a times negative 1 becomes the first term here. Notice how we cleverly chose this form here so that these twins match. These are common factors. So we have 8a minus 1 as the common factor. And we're going to spread the love. You feed a dog, 8a minus 1 times 14b becomes the first giant term, and 8a minus 1 times 16a becomes the second giant term. That was a lot of work. But before you say you're done, investigate this term very carefully. 
can we factor further? And the answer is yes. We can pull out a 2. So we write 2, 8a minus 1. And because we pulled out a 2 from this giant factor, we have half the result, which is 7b plus 8a. Now we have it, the fully factored form. Let's factor by grouping. We'll gather the y's. Move this term over here. So we have negative 4x to the 4y plus x squared y plus 12x cubed minus 3x. And let's focus on the GCF of the first term. We can pull out our x squared y. This times negative 4x squared becomes the first term. And this times positive 1 becomes the second term. Now let's focus on the second part. If we decide to choose to pull out a 3, a 3x, we have 3x times 4x squared becomes the first term, and 3x times negative 1 becomes the second term. Now what we have are fraternal twins. They look almost the same. So let's copy the line above, but let's rearrange the terms. We have 1 minus 4x squared. And I want to flip the signs, negative to positive and positive to negative. So we change the plus to a minus 3x. So we now have 1 minus 4x squared. Let's factor out this twin, 1 minus 4x squared. That's the GCF of the two terms above. We copy in these values, x squared y minus 3x. Now don't stop here. Use difference of squares. 1 times 1 is 1, plus minus. What times what is 4x squared? We have 2x and 2x. Now, can we factor further? We can factor out an x. So we have x times xy becomes the first term, and x times negative 3 becomes the second term. So we now have a fully factored form.